Good morning, happy Sunday. Today we are coming to you from Barcelona, Spain. Actually, we're not. We are sitting in Plano, Texas, or no, we, I am sitting in Plano, Texas. But uh, today we're actually going to talk about SpyFu, which is an awesome keyword tool and the three things I use it for. Uh, my name is Kashif Mughal. I am with Cash Data Consulting LLC. So I actually teach um, at Collin College, which uh, I thought I had it up here somewhere. Um, I teach digital marketing there and I we cover a lot of things and SpyFu came up uh, the other day. And so some of my students were struggling with it. So I figured why not make a quick video, okay? And if you are in Plano, Dallas area, definitely go check out the um, college. They have a lot of good online marketing classes, but let's just jump right, right into it. So what is SpyFu anyway? And not sure what the FU stands for, LOL, I'm just saying. Well, let's go back to the drawing board. I just want to reinvent the wheel, the wheel. Oh, cash. The answer is no. You do not want to reinvent the wheel, right? Why? Because it's already done. Um, you know, there's no point in starting from scratch. Well, that's precisely what SpyFu is for. It's an excellent digital marketing tool, okay? You can use it for getting a quick overview of your competitors, right? and their online marketing efforts. You can look at uh, organic search results like traffic, keywords, ranking history, okay? Uh, you can do all of that. You can spy on competition in regards to PPC, which again is uh, pay-per-click advertisement, right? You can find their ad budget, your their top paid keywords, and even in their uh, even their ad history, which is awesome feature. By the way, the uh, the link for this is uh, spyfu.com. We're going to be looking at that in a minute. But let's let's get going. You know what are today? We're just going to cover three things. Spyfu has a lot of features. It's very uh, it can be very overwhelming actually if you've never seen it before. But I'm going to cover really three topics. Okay, number one is Spyfu gives you an insight into online marketing efforts of your competition. Okay, so for today's demo, we are going to assume. Uh, Cash the Dentist is a family dentist uh, clinic in Frisco, Texas. And, you know, we, we just started. We didn't start, but this is all pretend. But we want to jumpstart our uh, digital marketing efforts, right? Well, that's where spyfu.com comes into handy. Um, using this tool, we can get a high level information about our competition in dentistry. And so the two areas that it gives you um, a lot of information right off the bat is SEO, search engine optimization, and pay-per-click ads. First, we're going to show you the free version of this tool and then the paid version, okay? So enough chatter, let's uh, let's jump into this. So I actually pulled up a couple of queries here. Uh, well, first, let me just show you the tool. So this is spyfu.com. Again, um, we're going to be just using the, the free version, right? Now, I just did this quick query dentist near frisco right so you can see you can see that some ads are pulling up okay um and some other stuff is <clears throat> coming up here you can certainly look into you know these sites yelp is there but one of this company that pops up here is monarch dental okay so i'm going to be tracking that one for sure and then also another thing we can do is you know uh plano is close to Frisco. So you always want to try other searches. Okay, and there you go. So you can see one of the top ads is this My Ideal Dental, which is also a small company. It's actually fairly big. So that also is popping up here. Look at that Monarch is again showing up here, right? And I'm going to, I'm actually looking for, if I can get the My Ideal Dental to pop up, I heard, I hate to burn there. I guess they're not popping up here, but it doesn't matter, right? So now if I switch to the other browser, in fact, I'm just going to apologize. I'm going to close. Um, I'll leave this one open for now. So I already pulled up um, my ideal dental, right, which is right there. So let's start with that, okay? we This is going to be our competition. So you literally take their URL, right? 
you go into SpyFu. Again, I'm not logged in, by the way. So this is just completely free. It says enter your competitor website, okay? And so there you go. Okay, watch, watch the magical stuff. So real quickly, um, basically this is the overview page, right? So you can see the tabs up here, overview, SEO search, other ones, we're gonna look at that. But it's telling us, this tool is telling us that my ideal dental, right? Estimate traffic, they are getting about 5,000 clicks a month, okay? They are ranking for almost uh, 7,000 keywords, so really good job on that. Um, they are also getting um, some traffic from PPC, right? So the PPC, everything on the right side is PPC, okay? Everything on the left side is SEO. So it's very kind of, very intuitive, very easy to see the information. According to SpyFu, they're spending about 2,000 um, a month in Google Ads, okay? So you can scroll down here, these are, it shows you organic competitors, paid competitors. We'll talk a little bit about this, um, this Venn diagram concept, okay? And then if you come down here, like, okay, what are the top keywords for my ideal dental? If I click here, <coughs> right, you're gonna, you're gonna see there, it's gonna show you, and of course, you know, they're, they're making a quick sale right there. So it's gonna show you their top five keywords, right? So this is, I mean, I feel like this tool is great because it gives you a lot of information. I mean, if you go to um, Sam Rush, let's say, right, or um, RFs, I mean, they don't, you know, they don't really give you a whole lot. I mean, let me just try this one just, just for kick. So if I go, if I type in Monarch Dental here, let's just try this. Um, I don't want to get away from SpyFu because that's what we're focusing on. But let me let me show you this here. So if I try uh, Semrush, right? I mean, right away they want they want your account. Okay. Same thing with um, what is it? RFs. If I go here, right? Moz is not bad. Uber Suggest is not bad. But if I go here, I mean, they want a trial. I don't want a trial. I just I want some information. I mean, okay. The pandemic is still here. Um, but, uh, but anyway, let's, let's just stick with this. So this is number one thing that I use it for. <clears throat> number two reason that I use, um, SpyFu is that it really puts your SEO research on steroids. Yes. How does it do that? Well, let's just continue with our Frisco <clears throat> dentist idea. Okay. With SpyFu, we can get information on our local and national competitors, right? So we're a dentist, so we're gonna do that. We can look at their SEO performance over time. We can look at their page one uh, search engine ranking. Combat, combat, which reminds me of Mortal, Mortal Combat from back in the day. This is a very powerful feature where it's gonna show you all the shared organic keywords. We'll look at that in a minute. It's also gonna give us uh, the organic competitors for dentistry and then they are ranking over time. So this is a lot of information. Again, the tool is giving you for free. All right, enough chatter, cash, demo, police, right? So this time I'm actually going to go into SpyFu. I believe I'm logged in, but let's check right here. So I'm already logged in here, okay? And this time what I'm going to actually do is um, I'm going to use Monarch Dental instead because they are the 800 or 400 whatever pound gorilla, right? So again, I'm just going to go to SpyFu, click on the main thing, right? Like I said, I'm, I'm logged in already. This is a paid version now, so this is gonna give a lot more information. So look at this one, right? So this is definitely the other tool. If I go back uh, to ideal, uh, my ideal dental, if I go back to their overview, right? Let's just compare, you know, they were ranking for 7,000 keywords, right? Versus <clears throat> Monarch, which is ranking for 13,000, so they're, they're almost twice as big, okay? Uh, again, the information is split SEO on the left side, uh, PPC on the right side. They are spending almost 8,000 a month, so their budget is definitely bigger, right? But if I want to know more about their SEO, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this tab, which is called SEO Research, right? So this is where, you know, there is so much information here, it's just overwhelming, right? Monarch Dental, I mean, it gives you over time. So let's say, let's say go back in time in five years, what did they do, right? So back in uh, 2017, looks like they had a dip in their ranking. 
uh, on their keywords, but they have nicely popped up, right? Of course, pandemic, there's a little drop there. Um, uh, actually, no, that would be here. So you can kind of see their traffic is definitely moving up. They uh, Page one, they're ranking for 3,000, 3,800 keywords. Wouldn't that be nice? All right, so let's scroll down a little bit. Here's another part that I like. These are the top organic competitors, right? Uh, Monarch Dental, obviously, My Ideal Dental, uh, Mint Dentistry, that's another good one. Actually, we could have used that one, right? So let's talk a little bit about this one, okay? This is called Combat. These are the shared organic keywords. Well, what does that mean? These are all the top competitors. I mean, I'm a dentist in, well, the dentist in Frisco, right? These are my major competitors, but I don't want to spend time looking at every single one. Why not go right in the middle? It's, it's telling me there's 1,900 keywords that are shared among the domains. Would you not like that? Mm, yes, I would like that, right? So when you click on that, watch what happens, okay? It's going to actually open up this tab, which is called the combat, right? Um, these are all the core keywords. So right here, I mean, if I were you, I would export this right there, by the way. You can export stuff in here. So this 2,000 keywords, right, that are shared among everyone. If everybody has spent thousands of dollars trying to figure this shit out, why not utilize that, right? Again, no need to reinvent the wheel, right? All of your information is here. Um, and then you can obviously look at, you know, the volume. This is, uh, this I believe is keyword difficulty, cost per click, organic list, all kinds of information here, right? Let me go back to the SEO page. I just, uh, I get excited about this stuff, I guess a little bit too nerdy here. But if you go down, again, we are, I wanna make sure I'm on the, yeah, I'm on the SEO tab, right? And again, there's other things within this tab. This tool is just, just so much information here, but then you can look at their most valuable keywords, right? Newly ranked keywords, what are they trying to rank for? What are their losses? If they're losing a place, maybe that's an area that you wanna, you wanna focus on, right? And then finally on the bottom, um, they actually show you, I like this part too. This is organic history for the competitors. Here you can, you know, these are keywords essentially. So if you were focused on dental implants, for example, you know, you can kind of look at that and it actually tells you what happened. These are Google updates down here, Panda and things like that. Uh, so it kind of tells you, you know, what happened with this particular um, um website okay so that's that enough information on that let's move uh let's move forward i do want to keep this video somewhat short uh, i can be long-winded as most of you know so the third third thing that i use spyfu for is ppc well let's say seo is not your thing or it's impossible to rank maybe you're in the business of auto insurance good luck okay so then you use ppc well what is ppc it's pay-per-click it's using something like google ads facebook ad instagram ads right this is the fastest way to get on the first page of Google, Yahoo, and Bing. But stop, before you push any PPC campaigns, you really need to have SpyFu help you out with these things. You wanna get a overview of your competition. You wanna again do the combat that we talked about. Look at your top eight competitors, right? And my favorite, which is this one, which is the Google Ads history. It's actually going to show you your competitor ads over time. I mean, how cool is that? That's going to tell you, you know, what are their successful ads? Which one are they repeating? Oh, cash, demo time. So let me go back here. Let's just pick, um, let's go back to Ideal Dental, okay? Because I know they were, I think, I believe they were spending 2000 a month. So if I go back to SpyFu, I'm going to go to Overview, right? I'm going to type in this one, okay, and do a search. And this is just an idea, right? I mean, you can use your your niche or market. For my ideal dental, again, they're spending about looks looks like two thousand a month. So what do you do here? You want to know more what's going on with that, right? You're going to click on this tab right here, which is PPC uh, research, right? Now here you go. Okay. So according to this tool, my ideal dental, they're using about three hundred keywords. Okay. Um, looks like they were. Looks like they were um, spending more money and then I believe, yeah, COVID happened and so they dropped their budget quite a bit. Nobody nobody wants to go to a dentist and have their jaw open, um, you know, for the virus to get in there. Uh, but anyway, these are the most successful keywords, right? It tells you what are their cost, 
how much are they spending, what are, you know, what are the searches. But this is the part I'm talking about. Look at this. This is Google Ads history, right? What does this mean? So over time, um, this one's not showing you a lot of ads. So let me let me go back. Actually, let me go to Monarch because it looks like my ideal had dropped their <clears throat> ads. So I apologize. I thought they were using more ads, but let's let's go back into Monarch Dental instead. Okay, then I'm gonna scroll back again. Same thing. And in fact, let me look at two years. Maybe maybe we can do that as two years because definitely see, they did the same thing. They dropped their budget during COVID, which makes sense. So come down here. Here you go. That's a little bit better here. So look at this, okay? Uh, cheapest dentistry, dental uh, emergency care, right? Now look, these are, these are their hist historical ads, okay, that Monarch is doing over time, right? And... <clears throat> What can you do? I'm kind of clicking a little bit too much here. So let me go back here. So here, where's the ad history, right? You Do you see the color? Like this ad is right here, okay? Now what happened is this is back in July, right? Of 20, 2020. And then look, they tried a different ad over here, slightly different, okay? And, but then they brought this ad back. You see this right here? So this is very good that, you know, if, if they are repeating an ad, okay, this is from November of 2020, this is great information because guess what? You're doing PPC, you can create, you know, you can go to the drawing board, right? Okay, where do I want on the heading? What do I want here? But there you go. You actually have your competitor, somebody who's spending, where is it? Let's go back up here. They're spending 8,000 a month on, you know, Monarch Dental is spending 8,000 a month. Why not use that information, okay? So very powerful tool, like I said, um, I hope you found those things helpful. Um, if you you know have any questions on this or you, if you have any comments, even on um, you know SEMrush and Moss, please leave a comment below and I will respond uh, as soon as I see the comment. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel. If you are um, a small business that's struggling online, we would love to work with you. We have some free specials that we're offering. Here's our website, um, datatechnologylc.com, and this is our contact information. Thank you for watching the video. Have a good day. I hope you found the video useful. Thank you for watching it. We would love to hear from you, and if you have any questions, connect with us. The best way to do that is through our website. Here it is on the screen. You can also connect. There should be a link up there, okay? We have a blog that we regularly post uh, topics on digital marketing, also focus on small businesses. In addition, we have uh, obviously our social media, so you can connect with us on Facebook if you like. We are very active on Twitter, uh, Instagram, and then finally YouTube. That's where you're seeing our video. Uh, again, um, have a good day, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.